Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. We are making a journal today, um, start to finish. I'm not gonna fill the pages today, but we'll see how it all goes. Um, for reference, this is kind of this is kind of the look we're going for. Just something like this, journal-wise. Um, so we're making the cover today and the pages. So one, except there's a fun, there's gonna be two of these. They're gonna be skinny to me, one here and one here, of these little flaps. So let's get going on that. All right, I do apologize about the lighting. It's gonna be a little crazy. It's been really hard to film here lately because of the weather as the lighting is adjusting. Okay, come on, there we go. So yeah, because of the weather, it's been kind of hard to film, but that's okay. So we're just gonna go for it. This is the fabric I've chosen. This is kind of the, the papers from the October kit that I'm gonna be using for this journal. It's gonna be super cute and I'm really excited. Okay, so first things first, pick out a fabric. Fabric is best to use because it's more flexible and it'll add some strength to your journal. So as you can see, it's right here. And then you're going to need a cover. And I've chosen to do a 6.5 by four inch cover. Put it about right there. And then next up is your spine. My spine is 6.5 inches tall by 1.5 inches wide. And you're gonna just go ahead and put those like a sixteenth of an inch away from each other, just barely, barely there. And then your other back cover, 6.5 inches by four inches. Like that. And then your flap spine, which for this you can choose uh, the height this way that you want, but make sure that it is the same width as your spine, so 1.5 inches. And I'm just gonna guesstimate and put two of them. You can do one. Uh, I'm doing two and I'm doing two skinny ones because that's kind of just what I wanted to do. Get them about the same width from each other. And then these are your flap closures. And this one, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be on this front cover. So I made them about that long, it's really up to you. Just make them the same height as your flap spines. And just get them right there next to each other. Perfect. So that's the general layout. Um, let me grab my decoupage. You can use Elmer's glue, you can use art glitter glue, that's always a good one. Today I'm going to be using decoupage. Try to keep a three quarter, half inch, three quarter inch, half inch border around everything. Keep it simple. Okay, I'm going to pour some glue. Oh, that's a lot. There we go though. Okay. I'm just going to jump right into it. We're just going to get going. It's going to be super cute and I'm excited. All right. So just start on one end. I'm working left to right. I think that's probably the best way to do it. And you're just going to really, really, really want to coat it. That might have been slightly too much. We'll see. But it dries pretty quickly. So that is okay. And really focus on your edges. Because if the edges are down, the middle's going to be down. So, there we go. It's going to get messy here for a minute. Okay, that's super good. That's really coated. And then just replace it right back where it was. Gently put it down. Line it up how you need to. You scoop mine up a little. Okay, and then we're just gonna adjust as we go, but I think right now it's looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and press it down. Really press it down. Okay, 
All right, onto our spine. Line it up, and I'm going to press it down. Oh, and in this case, I use chipboard, but feel free to use chipboard, um, even a cereal box, any thin cardboard would be fine. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, thin cardboard would be fine. It just depends on how thick you want your your journal. So. Mine's pretty thick, but that's because that's how I like it. And one thing I'm looking out for is I'm trying to make sure that this top line is even. Because if you can get at least one line even, that's all you can ask for. And your measurements are not going to be perfect. They're not going to be exact. All right, on to our flap spines. This will be really easy to do. This is a really important piece, so make sure you get it good, though. Like that. That's about a good spot, I'd say. And then I just want to make sure that, well, I don't know where my ruler went. Oh, here it is. I just want to make sure that I get this pretty close, so. About 0.75 inches from the top. So that's where I'm just gonna make sure to put my other one because I want it to be pretty even. But it wouldn't be too hard to eyeball if you just want to eyeball it. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Besides the glue that's everywhere. Alright, we're on to just our last two pieces. Alright, we've made it to the cutting part. So you're just going to grab a pair of scissors and cut your edges leaving a tiny bit of space from that corner you don't want to get too close to it and you're just going to do that on all four corners Okay, as you guys can see, it's kind of coming together. That's where the fold's going to be, and the two closures. All right, so our first part is going to be gluing down this fold and this fold. So go ahead and do that and be very generous. With Some people transfer to glue at this point. I'm just going to stick with my decoupage because I don't have a lot of art glitter glue or Elmer's glue left. But yeah, just be very generous with it, especially if you're using decoupage. Get it to really stick. Make sure it's pressed down. I'm gonna go through and just clean up these edges because I want it to dry quicker. So I'm just gonna spread out the extra decoupage. A little better. Okay. Now we're on to our corners. The reason you had these is these other corners is so that you can glue them down and have the fabric covering the whole thing. That's why you left a little bit on that cut so that it can cover the corner. So go ahead and fold that side down. Okay, I have this little tool to just really work my edges in. So add a little extra decoupage on the extra fabric, get it under it, get it on top of it, and kind of fold it down. And if you want to, you can use this tool to just oops, get those edges 
more secure. Actually, I think I'm just gonna use my finger. That works better. This one looks fine. Okay, there we go. So we've made it past this part and now comes the next part that can get a little bit harder. So we need to keep that half inch three quarter border all along here. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. These are super, well, I'd almost maybe make it a tiny bit closer because they're very short and thin. And then just don't cut all the way to the edge, leave it about right there. And do the same thing up. This way, keeping, I'm keeping it pretty close, I just decided, well, I'm trying to. Don't cut all the way there. Leave it about there. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut this one a little further up. I'm actually gonna cut it to the line, this previous corner cut that we made to the line. Get rid of that. And then you're going to cut in about a 45 degree angle right here. And don't cut all the way to the corner, just almost to the corner. So that later we can pull these up. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this. Does not have to be perfect for your end product to be beautiful. Just like that. And then yes, cut to the corner. And we're on our last, last one. All right. And remember, 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 remember to cut off these corners, leaving a teeny tiny bit of space right next to the, the flap. <laughs> This isn't looking very symmetrical, but it'll work out. I promise. This side is a little bit long. I'm just going to try to trim it. It's kind of hard to do on video because I can't hold the product the way I normally would. So it's like doing it at a weird angle sometimes. Okay. So this is the general, the general look. Hopefully that makes sense but i'm just going to start right here again glue down these little borders really getting my corners in i'm going to glue under that corner on top of that corner and just hold it down same thing on this edge we're just going to hurry and finish Okay, then just go through and glue all of your edges. Make sure that all your corners are cut. I, looking at it now, I wish I would have just cut those inner corners a little bit more just to get a cleaner, cleaner look. But hey, learn from my mistakes and just cut that corner super, super close. Um, careful, careful not to expose the cardboard though. The whole point is you just want to cover the cardboard. So yeah, and then finally just fold over those tiny little tabs and see here I am cutting them a little bit closer try to get them as close as you can but yeah we're almost done so hang in there with me and good luck get your corners as neat and as tight as you can I'm putting decoupage on the top here just so I can get a smoother look um, you're welcome to do whatever you want though Okay, so I went ahead and just got some extra scrap pieces of fabric and laid them on the other side to cover the cardboard as well as right here. 
And now for this part, leave a quarter inch around whatever you decide to put as the backing. I'm using a regular printer paper and that is a little risky because you can rip it. And that's okay because I'm okay with a little bit of a grungy style. I think it's gonna look really nice with this specific paper in the background, but feel free to use fabric, um, a thicker paper, anything. So we are just going to jump into it and put a light layer of decoupage all over. So go ahead and line it up where you want it. So I think that looks pretty good. Feel free to like ink your edges too. That would look pretty nice. I'm thinking of it now. Okay, so for this next part, get something like, I'll probably use this, the edge of my X-Acto knife, because after I put on the decoupage, I'm going to go through the lines very, very lightly and just push them down a little bit to give them some bendability. But I'm going to just put a really light coat on top of this. Right, so this is where you get your corners you can just bend it a little bit like that it'll just create a nice nice bendability do it with the other one we'll see how this works i've never done this with paper so far, so good though. And I almost want to just like split it, like split the paper, but maybe not. I just want to give it that nice bendability. So I'm going to do that a few times. Get all my edges down. That one's coming up a little. Okay, and then at this point, I would just set it right here for a while let it dry a minute and then just lay it flat and let it dry so once it's dry i will come back okay y'all my cover is dried and ready to go and i'm just going to show you kind of how it ended up looking the paper surprisingly worked pretty well but that's how it's going to look and if you want you could put magnets under you'd have to put them under in the first step I'm going to be doing either clips or velcro of some sort. I don't really know yet. We'll see what happens. But there it is. I'll give you better angles here. Just like that. And I did already put these in, but that'll be in the next step. So there it is. Already go. Thank you for watching. And be sure to watch the next part to see how we put in the pages. It's going to be super, super cute. And I'm really excited. I hope you guys have a lovely day and we'll see you later.